Okay. In Megadam Behemadaka Beretz Yisrael, you're not allowed to raise a small animal, small domesticated animal, sheep, goats, or whatever in Eretz Yisrael. Why not? Because basically they, they eat up everything. And uh, therefore you, you sort of lose out on the, the, you know, they eat all the vegetables, they eat all the, the vegetation. They're worried about uh, the Eretz Yisrael becoming, uh, you know, sort of, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, <clears throat> bare because of the lack of uh, seeds. Avon Gadlam Besuria. You can do it in, in, in Surya, the lands of Aram, conquered by David Amelech, approximately where you know, Syria is today, some of that land, um, which didn't get the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael. And so there, we weren't so concerned about uh, what happens to the land there. There you are allowed to. Uvma Midbaros, Sheba Eretz Yisrael. And also in the Midbar, in the desert areas in Eretz Yisrael, we're not so worried there either about... Uh, the uh, damage to the land, and therefore that's okay. Garden Tarnagolim Yerushalayim. So you're also not allowed to raise chickens in Yerushalayim. If Nehekadashim, because of the uh, the Karbanos, because of the uh, the holy offerings, they're worried that the, the chickens are going to be running around. They go into the garbage. They go into the, they find the dead animals. They're going to bring it, and it's going to end up touching the Karbanos to make things tame. So therefore. Can't do that in Yushalayim. Velo Kohanim Eretz Yisrael, also the Kohanim, the priests living in Eretz Yisrael, who are going to have truma in their homes, we also don't want them having the chickens running around and making everything tame, so they're not allowed to either. Mefneataros, because of the, the, the holiness, the holiness of the truma and the other, the, the things that are given to them. Eim mekav and chazirim bechol makom. You're not allowed to raise pigs anywhere in Eretz Yisrael. This was a gzera, this is a rabbinic enactment that uh, had to do with the fact that during the time of the Hashmonaim, during uh, the warring factions of Hashmonaim kings when, uh, you know, long after the Hanukkah story, that they were battling each other, and uh, so they were surrounding Yerushalayim and holding and besieging it, but, you know, they don't want the Karbonos and the base Amigdash mean, to stop, so they would send up animals. They, they didn't have access to to the sheep, so they would send them up sheep uh, every day, and then one day somebody said, yeah, you, know, you want to stop them, take away their power, don't let them have the carbono. So instead of the sheep, one time they raised up on the wall a pig, and the pig says, the uh, Gemara says, it stuck its uh, hooves into the walls, and uh, the whole Eretz Yisrael shook, 400 by 400 parts, uh, it sounds like there was an, like an earthquake that, that, that took place. So the rabbi said, no more, you're not allowed to raise, you know, anybody who raises pigs is cursed, basically. Um, a person shouldn't raise dog either. Unless it's tied up with a, with a chain, tied up well with a chain. Here it's talking about, the Gemara makes clear, it's kelev ra. It's talking about like a, an evil, dangerous, you know, rabid dog type of thing. The dog's going to be a dangerous animal, it's going to scare the pregnant women and they're going to, uh, when it barks, and they're going to lose their kids. So uh, basically don't, uh, don't do such a thing. Um, unless you've got it tied up really well, then nobody's afraid of that as long as it's tied up really well. You also shouldn't make traps for doves unless you are uh, 30 wrists, which approximately ends up being about four miles from any uh, settled area because you're going to set a trap for, you're worried that you're going to end up catching bird that doesn't belong, that belongs to somebody actually. So you got to set it up far enough away from, uh, from a uh, inhabited area so you know that you're not uh, stealing anybody's, uh, anybody's doves.